Hey guys, what's up? Time for another devlog. Uh, about a week since last time, we've had a lot of tweaks and small changes to, to art uh, and things like that. Gregory has started working on sounds, and the last really important thing to make the game kind of work that we had to do is work on the camera system. And so far, we've kind of been using a, a follow system, a basic follow player system with just lerp and springiness, and it's kind of bleh. We need something a little more controlled, especially for levels where there's verticality, as well as just, you know, not the, the beginning levels are just horizontal, but later on we do have verticality, and we needed something a little bit more fluent and more controlled. We thought about a million different things, and I tried a lot of things during last week. I'm, I'm a lot of things based on the magnets and doing this and maybe areas with anchors and colliders and <laughs> a lot of things. Eventually, I decided I'm going to try my best for just a few days. I'm going to try and create a basic camera path system. And what a camera path is, think about a dolly if you're familiar with the with a dolly in, in filming which is just something, it's a, it's a very predetermined path that the camera can actually be on, and it moves on that path according to a certain rule. In my case, it tries to get closer to the player, and, uh, but always moves along that path. So I put up uh, a little window, you can see the scene, and you can see the game, but I want you to kind of look at the scene. So you notice that there is these points. This is the first level, by the way. This is the, the, the very first level. It just shows you the basics of the game. Uh, you've probably seen it before. And there's these points, okay? Now, this is, remember, this is very basic and very specific to what we need. So I'm not, it's not amazing, okay? It's very simple. And I have these points and I actually put them wherever I want to. Since this level is completely horizontal, I actually only need two, but I, I put a lot for testing. And what I'm going to do, there's actually one also over here, but it's hidden by the camera. Um, I put these points and I number them. You'll, you'll notice that this is point number one, this is point number uh, number two, okay, number three and number four. And I put them on from zero to, it actually doesn't matter, whatever number I want, from zero to one, two, three, four, five. But it's floats, okay, it's a float, it's not, so I can actually, if I later on want to put in another one, I could put 2.5, it doesn't really matter. Uh, that was kind of important because, you know, you want to tweak it later on. And I take all these points according to their numbers and that's, I build the path through that. It's an array of these points, which is basically just, currently at least, just vectors. It's just positions. And what I do, I move the camera between these points in a straight line. Nothing fancy, there's no, you know, pretty stuff. It's a straight line between these points. Which means the more points, the more control I'll have because I'll be able to have things which are nicer. Um, so just the more points the better. And again here because it's just a straight line and just vertical I'm just gonna need two points and not more than two points. Uh, one at the start, one at the end. My camera just moves between these two points and it tries to get as close as possible to the player. So let's just see it in action. There's a lot of variables that still need to be tweaked. Uh, when does it move slower? When does it move faster? What's the thresholds of, of specific things? There's still th stuff to, to, to figure out, but for the most part, it does work and pretty well. So you can see here at the bottom and you can see at the top, you'll actually look at the camera itself and how it moves. Okay, you can see that it tries to just get closer to the player. And it gives us a little bit of a weird motion at times where even though you're going back, the camera is coming towards you. So it's kind of like a clash. It feels sometimes a little bit odd. We'll have to, to try and, and figure it out, but you can see that it does work and here at the end it, it stops. The camera also moves when you're not moving, which initially I really didn't want to do, but it's very little and it's okay. I, I don't feel that it's weird. Again, a lot of tweaks, but it, it, it works. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Let's finish the level here and I'll show you one of the other levels where it's a little bit more relevant. This is also the, the hub that you're gonna see right now. We currently have six levels. We are going to release this build, well not exactly this build, but uh, tomorrow on Sunday, today's Saturday, tomorrow's Sunday. Um, <laughs> did you know that? That after Saturday comes Sunday. We're gonna have a playtesting session at our school. We're gonna take the, the notes and on Monday we're gonna try and, and you know make things a little bit nicer. And then on Monday I'm gonna put up a playtesting, a web playtester. So you could playtest this on my website. Um, that's gonna be on Monday, so look out for that. 
for now, I'm just going to show you, I think I'm going to jump to about level five, I think. Yeah. Um, and I can show you that, remember, we have levels that are also vertical. So here, it kind of goes up like this. Um, very basic, but it works pretty well. I like it. And we can see as you play along that it, it, it kind of works better and worse at some points. Uh, right here, I'd like to have it a little bit higher. So I'll have to shorten the path. Or make it a little bit faster but now I can really see everything that I'm going to and I'm going to die so it goes back to where we were um, where we were previously okay and now I'm, I made it and I'm going to have to stop here this is an area we have to just learn how to just stop and wait here you have to also make sure not to get in and then we're here at the end and we just kind of go in so we're pretty happy. I'm I'm pretty happy with it. A lot of tweaks. We're gonna release that. Um, this this plate, you know, this horrible little screen uh, also has a little bit of an Easter egg. Let's see if you can find out what what's changed since last time, except for more levels. Um, it's not, I'm not gonna say it. something changed. Maybe you'll figure it out. If you do, let me know uh, in the comments or something. If you have any questions on how I made this system or anything as usual, just let me know in the comments. Um, Playtesting is gonna be on Monday. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.